What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex Costa and you know a lot of times guys think that all they have to do is start to get somewhere, right? And I agree the first step is extremely powerful. It's extremely helpful and it's a necessity. You always have to take that first step. But a little bit of research before that first step also goes a long way and that's what today's video is all about. Here are five habits that you think are good for you. Things that you start doing without realizing that you're actually causing damage. And the first one is something that I did when I was younger, which is hitting the gym with no idea how to work out. Like I had no idea the form, how heavy I should go, which machines, which body parts I should be working out. I had no clue. I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna get buff AF. And man, was I wrong. Of course, looking back that first step, it was great. It got me into the gym. And while I was in there, I was observing and learning as much as I possibly could. However, I wish that I spoke to someone beforehand. Some of my friends who had been going to the gym for a long time, older people who have been to going to the gym for years now, bodybuilders, go online and do some research. I did nothing. I did none of those. I'm like, oh, it's a dollar to sign up for the first month. I'm there. I'm so thankful that I didn't hurt myself, but honestly, you could hurt yourself really badly by working out without knowing what you're doing. So do a little bit of research before you hit the gym and start lifting those heavy weights. And by the way, I research workouts to this day. I still do. I still look it up on YouTube, still Google it just to make sure that I'm always improving, that I'm always making my workouts better. Number two is something that I definitely still do to this day, and that is checking my phone way too often. Checking your phone way too often for me sometimes feels like I'm being productive. It feels like I'm doing something, right? I'm talking to people, I'm texting, I'm checking emails until you hit social media and then you get stuck there for 15 minutes. TikTok is a major player in that. Like it will definitely get your attention for at least 15 minutes once you open it. So while it may seem like you're being productive, like you're actually getting stuff done, checking your phone all the time is a bad habit. I recommend you check your phone maybe once every hour or two hours. Of course, if there's a phone call, you pick it up. If, so, if it's something important or urgent, get it. But there's no reason for you to check your DMs, your emails, your text messages every 10, 15 minutes. They'll be there after 30 minutes. They'll be there after an hour. You'll be okay. Number three, a lot of guys still do this. They use body wash as fragrance. Guys, body wash is not your fragrance. That's just for you to wash yourself in the shower and get rid of that bacteria, get rid of that dirt. When it comes to fragrance, there are so many better options out there, man. I get so excited because you guys know how many fragrances I have, how much I I love fragrances, love talking about it and teaching you guys about it. And if you're looking to get started with fragrances, if you want to learn more, if you want to build on your collection, today's video sponsor has everything you need. I have been working with Scentbird for years now and man, I'm so thankful to them because they really help you guys out. Here's what it boils down to. You can buy a cologne bottle for $100, $300, sometimes $500, right, for 100 ml or 3.4 ounces. Or you can get Scentbird for a few bucks a month and they will send you one of these every month with a different fragrance if you want to. Because the truth is, when you spend $100 on that cologne bottle, are you really gonna wear the same fragrance every single day? You don't really wanna do that. And with Scentbird, you can do more than that. You can have different fragrances every month. I have probably around 30 of these right now, so I have 30 different fragrances, all from Scentbird. They let you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for only $16 a month. It's very affordable, it's so easy, and every month you get to pick what you want to receive, so there's no surprises. It's not like they're sending you random colognes. You actually pick the fragrance, and they have perfumes and colognes, they have a lot of unisex options, and you get a 30-day supply, so you don't have to commit to a full bottle size at first. And yes, they have all your favorite brands, Prada, Gucci, Versace, they have it all. This month, I received Maritime For Him by Tommy Bahama. I received Brioni by Brioni. And then I received Atlas by Toomey, which is my favorite out of the three. No offense, I just didn't know Toomey could make great fragrances because they're a luggage brand, but you know what? This smells great. So you see the vial of fragrance that they send you, and then all you have to do is attach it to this, and now you have your fragrance ready to go. And one of the things that I like the most about Samperit is that when I travel, I don't really want to bring my big ass bottle of Versace Arrows. It's heavy, It's I don't need it. I'm there for four days. This is perfect. You can bring it in your carry-on, you can spray it on after the plane when you know, you're sitting there for hours and you want to smell fresh. I'm telling you, Scentbird is the way to go. And I know I mentioned it's only $16 a month, which is already very affordable, but if you use my code, Alex C, 
you get 55% off your first month. So it's only a few bucks to get started. Hit that first link below, use Alex C and get started with Scentbird today. The fourth habit that you are probably doing maybe even right at this moment and you don't even realize, but it's actually bad for you, is watching these videos, but not doing anything about it. Look, I love that you're watching these videos. I love that maybe you're listening to audiobooks, maybe you're listening to podcasts or watching podcasts on YouTube and you're learning. It's all in your head. You're, you're, there's a lot of input, but we need to also have output. You need to take everything in and then you need to do something about it. You need to actually act on it. So yes, it's great to learn, but at the end of the day, your actions, that is what's gonna change everything for you. So take in what I'm telling you. And if you're here for my tips, you know, every video, every day, like, man, I am so appreciative of you. Thank you so much but I want you to act on it. If I tell you, hey, you should stand up straight, make sure that you have great posture because that gives you confidence and it shows people that you're confident. You can't just be like, yeah, man, that sounds good. And then walk away like this, right? That, that's not helping much. You need to remember and you need to act. And that's very important. So that's a habit that you need to break. If you're just learning, just listening, just taking it in, it's time for that output. It's time to take action. You can start small, but start today. That's the most important part. Like I said, taking that first step is difficult, but it is major key, as our friend DJ Khaled would say. I can't believe I just quoted DJ Khaled from like 2017 or something. I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry. Now, the next thing that you will probably do, I know that I definitely do this one a lot, is working late getting up early and not getting enough sleep, right? For me, I have so much going on with all of my brands, uh, with all of my social media platforms and a lot of new things that I'm about to announce as well. I go to bed pretty late because I work late. And then I wake up early because I'm like, I got so much to do. So as soon as I open my eyes at like 5.36, I'm ready to go because I'm already thinking, I'm already building in my head. So I'm like, all right, I gotta get up. And that's, you know, sometimes that's not enough sleep. Make sure that you're getting enough sleep. I function on about seven hours a night. If I get seven hours of sleep, I feel good. But a lot of people need eight. Some people need six. Those are lucky people. Make sure that you understand what your body needs. I wear a fitness tracker at all times. This is a whoop tracker just to see how I'm sleeping, how my body's recovering to make sure that I'm doing okay. I'm telling you, I know it sounds great that you're working and hustling until 10 p.m. and then waking up at 4 p.m. And it's like, okay, well, first of all, you should also enjoy your life a little bit. Make sure that you're seeing your friends, seeing your family, you know, being able to love people. And then two, of course you need your sleep, man. You need your beauty sleep. You need to restore your body. I know it sucks, man. Sometimes I sit there and I'm like, I wish we didn't have to sleep. I wish I could just keep going all night. That would be amazing, but that's not how it is. So you need your sleep. What has worked well for me is establishing a bedtime. I like to be in bed by 10.30. If I'm in bed by 10.30, then I usually am asleep by 11, I'm good, I wake up at six, and I got my seven hours. So establishing a bedtime is actually way better than establishing a wake up time, because sometimes if you say that you're gonna wake up at six, but you end up going to bed at one in the morning, you're only getting five hours of sleep, so that's not very helpful. Make sure that you go to bed early. That is my advice to you. Guys, check out Sandbird. It's the first link in the description below, and use the code AlexC to get 55% off. It's that first link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Peace.